describe what it looked like? You're driving, you witnessed it. What did it describe what it looked like? Um, not to kind of go back, but if you remember the train incident, I mean, you just saw it was kind of surreal. The bus was just going and straight into the straight into the barrier. And, you know, you saw like steam and smoke come out of the in, uh, out of the front of the bus. And fluids were all over the ground. Describe the injuries that you saw. Um, a lot of blood, a lot of what seemed to be broken bones. Of, you know, one one gentleman was just like. I think I broke my wrist. I said, okay, so you know, we splinted him up right away and things like that. But, you know, a lot of, from looking at inside the bus, there was no seatbelts or anything like that. So it was a pretty hard stop for them. And I think, uh, you know, that's where a lot of people, you know, banging into the seats and stuff in front of them. Who, who was it? You said somebody was pinned, that was the driver? Yes, or, and at the time, that's what she appeared to be. Mm -hmm. um, and my fellow firefighter that was with me, he actually was able to uh, grab something out of his personal car and broke the window and was able to help get her out. Was she the worst of the injured people, or uh, did she appear to be, at least? Um, it's hard to say. I mean, I know, I know she was. She had some significant injuries because um, they did board and collar her and just looking at the inside of the bus uh, the steering wheel was all bent and everything so I mean it was you usually respond to emergencies not actually seeing it happen correct <laughs> what do you think of that um it was it was rather interesting um, you know again we're trained to think like that but it's it's funny when we're responding we have time to react when we get the call and we go in this was definitely a different experience for me.